Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. I have been extremely impressed with this 2021 BMW 330e, which is a plug-in hybrid. In fact, I think this is a bit of a, a sleeper or hidden secret in the world of hybrids and plug-in hybrids because people don't talk about this model, but it's a beautiful car for a really good value. It's kind of strange to use the word value associated with a premium brand like BMW, but this particular model here is actually one of the cheapest plug-in hybrids you can buy with this level of equipment and features. Here in Canada, the 330e, in fact, is the cheapest 3 Series you can buy and the only way you can get a rear-wheel drive. In the US, it's a bit different. This isn't the cheapest 3 Series because you can get a gasoline engine 3 Series uh, that is also rear-wheel drive and is a bit cheaper than the plug-in hybrid. But here, at least in Canada, this is what I call a truly value-oriented vehicle. Who would have thought the plug-in hybrids is the cheapest way to buy the 3 Series? Does it make sense to buy the plug-in hybrid 330e or should you buy the gasoline version of the 3 Series? Well, here in this review, I want to give you five reasons why it makes so much more sense to buy the 3 Series in this 330e format, which is a plug-in hybrid. So let me walk you through five reasons why this is a model you should buy over the gasoline engine 3 Series model. So I'm here to argue that the BMW 330e, which is a plug-in hybrid, is a better buy than the similar 3 Series in the gasoline engine version for a number of different reasons. The first reason is pretty simple. This is a plug-in hybrid, which means as long as you top up the battery every single time, you never ever have to use the gasoline again. Now every six months or so, you do want to use up the gasoline and put a fresh tank of gas uh, because the gas does get stale and then from season to season, depending on where you live, gasoline companies or fuel companies will change to some of the chemical composition of the gasoline. So you do want to change it out every so often. But other than that, you can just keep on driving this uh, as long as the battery is fully charged without ever using a gasoline. So why would you, I guess, buy a gasoline version of this 3 Series and continue to use gas if you can get a similar 3 Series, perhaps even with a better performance, and never ever use gas again? And you don't have the range anxiety of a pure electric car. You can just keep on driving, and when the battery is uh, out, well, you'll switch over to normal hybrid. So that makes a lot of sense for me. Second reason why you might want to buy the plug-in hybrid version 330e instead of the gasoline version 330i is because it has more power and it has better performance. In fact, uh, the 330e has a combination of a 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder with electric motor and um, the gasoline engine by itself only has 181 horsepower and 258 foot-pounds of torque but when you combine with the motor which has 113 horsepower then the total output is 288 horsepower and about 310 foot-pounds of torque so when you get to that level the acceleration is quite immense and especially if you're driving in the pure electric mode then as i will show you in a second here the the driving experience is unlike any other gasoline car. It's very similar to, of course, other EV cars because it's driving in pure electric mode. But, um, you know, the most pleasant thing is the fact that it's silent, it's quiet, but it pushes you right to your seat. It's just an immense acceleration because uh, electric motor has infinite torque and it has uh, immediate power. So I think one of the most important reasons, I think, is the fact that the driving experience is more pleasant than just a regular gasoline engine by itself. The third reason why you might want to buy the plug-in hybrid of the BMW 3 Series is because, at least here in Canada, it's the cheapest 3 Series you can buy. It's kind of an interesting thing that they decided to do, and part of that reason is to be able to meet the federal government's grant 
for EV cars. So you end up with uh, actually the cheapest price among the three series model, despite the fact that it has a complex hybrid slash plug-in hybrid system. So obviously that's the third reason why you might want to buy this plug-in hybrid version is simply because the price is attractive, it's the cheapest three series, and the value is there. The fourth reason why you want to buy the plug-in hybrid is uh, something that you will have to experience by driving it but uh, once you start to drive an electric car or plug-in hybrid which basically functions as an electric car you may never want to go back to a gasoline engine car now i'm going to show you what the driving feel is like in a second here but um, generally speaking the electric car and the plug-in hybrid electric cars are so quiet and it's so amazingly smooth that um, people once they drive it they fall in love with it my wife has a toyota rav4 prime which is also plug-in hybrid and she says she can never go back to a regular hybrid or gasoline car because it is just so quiet and smooth you know the feeling you get when you uh, step on the gas in a golf cart electric golf cart well obviously this is far more complicated and advanced than that but that kind of kind of wind in the face feel immediate acceleration and the kind of really fun feel is what you get with electric cars and plug-in hybrids this 330e can accelerate at 0 to 60 miles per hour in just over five and a half seconds um, and if it's an x drive model with an all-wheel drive it's just a slightly slower but it's pretty darn fast but the feeling you get when you're inside the car driving is actually even more so than the numbers uh, represent because of the immense acceleration and the immediate feel of the torque it feels faster than it is so that's a very important part of the reason for buying the plug-in hybrid uh, the acceleration is great it's quiet it's smooth it's absolutely noise free and the fifth and the last reason to buy the plug-in hybrid version of the 3 Series versus the regular gasoline version uh, or other uh, electric car is the fact that you don't have to worry about range anxiety. At the end of the day, if you run out of the um, battery, then it will simply convert to being a regular hybrid and you'll continue to drive. Something that cannot be done with a pure electric car like the Tesla. One of the reasons for people not wanting to buy electric car is the fact that they're afraid uh, that the battery might run out and they might get stranded and it's actually a real real concern because it does happen to people and the problem is even when you are able to find a charger you have to wait for the battery to juice up i really think that in today's world plug-in hybrid generally speaking is the answer to our need for driving something that's environmentally friendly, uh, wanting to save gas and so forth, uh, but uh, not uh, <laughs> not wanting to suffer from range anxiety. So uh, I think uh, from all of the different types of driving I've done and many different versions of 3 Series I've driven, I actually think the 330E, the plug-in hybrid, is the best buy for the 3 Series unless you're looking for a high performance model like the BMW M3. So there you have it, all of the reasons why you should buy a plug-in hybrid version of the BMW 3 Series. I hope you enjoyed it, look forward to catching up with you again. Please stay tuned for more information, news and car reviews from Automotive Press.